Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here. Got Stacy with me. Hey y'all. And we're looking at what I believe is the thief in the night. Thief in the night. Yeah. Okay. The thief in the night. Should I tell him my dream first? Mm, sure. Well, I was laying in the bed, doing something I don't normally do in the bed. And <laughs> think about what that is. <laughs> working in the YouTube studio. And I had the computer, and I was sitting up in the bed, typing in the studio. Okay. When I heard a noise in the living room. This was last night? No, this was years ago. Oh, right. okay. Yeah. So, I came into the room, and there was a window, and somebody was climbing out of the window. This was a dream? This was a dream, yeah. Okay, so you had a dream that you was in the bed. Working. Yeah, and I okay. caught him, and I caught the thief in the night. I actually made a video about it. Because well, there was a lot of videos that came out about that. Mm -hmm. this, the, the clock, all kinds of stuff came in. I actually caught the thief in the night. Mm -hmm. And I believe this is him right here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Not only is it thief in the night, but it's thief in tonight. <laughs> okay. It might be. All right, let me show you. Let me show you, first of all, a biblical reference. And mm -hmm. um, we're going to look at the first day here. But we're going to go to BibleGateway.com. We're going to look at Isaiah chapter 13, down at about verse 10. All right. Go ahead, read verse 10. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened in his going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. All right, so let's go look at the interlinear. It says, for stars of the heaven and their constellations not will give their light will be darkened. The sun in its going forth and the moon not will cause to shine its light. All right. So what we're interested in is this right here where it says, and their constellations and where it says the stars of heaven. Mm-hmm. Pronounce those words for me. I haven't tried to, but pronounce what you see there. Um, Has Saham Yim, Hasamayam, Ko Kabi. You didn't heard that before in songs. So what this is, is this is the stars that they're talking about here, 35, 36. And then you have this phrase, this, this number here, 80, 64. Oh, it's trying to show us here. Let's see, what does it say? Strong's Hebrew, 3556, star of Messiah, brother, youth. Uh, I can't see. Well, let's just click on it. All right. I don't see where it said Messiah in here anywhere. You see Messiah? That's like No matches. Hmm. It don't say anything about the Messiah in here. And this is my point here. Is you see right here where it's for some reason, and this is my first time noticing it. Star of Messiah. The constellation that, you know, that's what we're talking about here. Mm -hmm. And so in this, what Isaiah is saying here, bring you back to Isaiah in verse 10, it says the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof will not give their light. Right. And so when we look at Stellarium for tonight, we see the stars of heaven right there. Right. And then if we start moving forward, You see it? Did you see that? Mm-mm. Do it again. Mm -hmm. Let me zoom back out because what that is, that's the moon. See the moon? Mm-hmm. And from this night on, we're at uh, 10.30 tonight, 11.30, 12 o'clock. 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 
4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6, 7, and so right around 8 o'clock in the morning, we see an eclipse. And the thing about it, you think we're, we have, we're using computer technology, but you see what we're actually, see how close the moon is to it? Mm -hmm. But if you actually show what it would look like more closer, it's going to look like that. And so it's an eclipse of that star constellation. How often does this happen? Um, I'm not sure exactly how often that happens, but look at the others this year. It says not, not only is there um, and the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof will not give its light, but it says the sun shall be darkened. Mm -hmm. But also notice something that we don't see in the King James Version, and that's this part down here, uh, 3318, mm -hmm. which says in its going forth. Mm -hmm. That's talking about the sun will not give its light in its going forth. What it's saying is that there will be an eclipse of the sun at the beginning of the year. Okay. Now, I looked at the total annual solar eclipses. I just looked at a few of the years that was offered from NASA. Mm -hmm. And we see that right before we got the Third Testament of the Bible, we had a couple of times where when there was an eclipse right around the spring equinox and it's going forth. Mm -hmm. But notice how those eclipses started over close to Krakatoa. Right. And and notice how they seem to sweep towards Mexico. Yeah. As if it's a reference to the Third Testament of the Bible, mm -hmm. which, be, which would have been a big deal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So on April the 8th, the sun was darkened in its going forth. Right. And the moon was also darkened within the same month mm -hmm. on um, about two weeks ago. Right. Mm -hmm. It's going together and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. Mm -hmm. That was during Purim. Mm -hmm. So within two weeks time, you have a lunar eclipse, a solar eclipse, an eclipse of this star. All centering around uh, verse 9, which talks about the day of the Lord coming. Right, and all centered around the celestial clock calendar and the star alignments. I mean, this is the season that we're in mm -hmm. back over here where one day of mankind has elapsed. We started here. We went around until we got to Solomon's time about here. The Messiah, of course, came right around in here. Mm -hmm. And then now here we are back ready for a new day to start. And let me show you another verse here. I think this is actually closer to what we're waiting for here. You want to read this, Second Peter 1 and verse 19? Okay. It says, We have also a more sure word of prophecy, where unto you do well that you take heed, as unto a light that shineth in a dark place, until the day dawn, and the day star arise in your hearts. The day star is the morning star. Mm -hmm. So what he's saying is we're basically waiting for the morning star to come back around. That wandering star that we know is the morning star to come back around. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you would have even this to add to the puzzle. So we have, right. yeah. It's definitely a puzzle. A lot of pieces that um, are coming together right around the time when um, the Messiah said that that he would be coming back. But now look what happens between now and that date. Mm -hmm. On May the 8th, the eclipse will get even more intense right. with Kimmel. Right. You see the moon? Yes. There. I've, I've actually gone in and compared. This is May the 8th. This is as close as it gets in April the 11th. Okay. This is as close as it gets in June, the 5th. Mm -hmm. You notice that it's outside of the ring. Mm -hmm. But on May the 8th, it's actually inside the circle. Right. So that's your true eclipse date. Right. May 8th, 2024.